Hello General Green teachers! Thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial video before our professional development session together. Today I will introduce to you a digital curation tool where you can collect, organize, and easily access all your digital resources in one location. Test Teach is perfect for teachers, librarians, and students to gather, save, and view content in one easy-to-navigate location. You can use this tool to create lessons, projects, presentations, or for student homework assignments. I am excited to introduce to you this great resource. Some of the benefits of using Test Teach are that it is a free tool, it will save you time and can be reused again in the future, the resource can easily be shared with other teachers or students, and it allows for student assessment before, during, or after the lesson through discussion boards and quizzes. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create your own Test Teach account, navigate the website, add resources to your lesson, utilize the student assessment tools, and how to share this resource or lesson with others. To begin your very own lesson, you will want to go to www.tests.com forward slash lessons. Once here, you will need to create your own account so that all your hard work and information can be saved. Test Teach does not require a subscription or fee, making it perfect for educators and students. Because I already have an account set up, I will go to click on the Login button. When creating your own account, Test Teach will give you the options to log in with Google, Facebook, or by creating your own username and password. Please take a moment to pause this video and set up your own Test Teach account now. Now that you have your own account, when you log in, you will be brought to your very own home page. Here you can visit past lessons or create a new one. Let's first take a look at what your digital curation could look like. Here's a lesson that I created on Civil War resources for fifth grade students and teachers. Once you are viewing the lesson, you will see that Test Teach offers a very clean and easy to navigate site. At the top of the page, you can insert the name of your lesson or topic title. Below, the resources are laid out in tiles. You can add resources, delete resources, or shift them around by clicking, dragging, and dropping the tiles. To view resources that have been collected, you can scroll to a particular tile and click on it or simply click on the play button at the top of the page. This will let you scroll through each of the tiles one by one in order. You will notice that each resource has a place to add a description of the information present. You can give your students instructions on what to do with the resource or even post a discussion question for them to respond to. Each tile has its own discussion section, making it a great assessment tool for educators. Now that you have seen how to use Test Teach to view and navigate content, let's go over creating your own lesson plan and how to add resources to it. Once we get back to the home page, you will notice on the right hand side a section to add classes. If you are going to be using this tool to share lessons or assignments with students, you will want to enter in a class name and grade level so that you can keep student assessment organized um, by your grade and class names. To start a new lesson, we will click on the new lesson button. Once on the page, we can enter in the topic or title of our lesson. Let's say we are going to do a lesson on fractured fairy tales. <clears throat> Once we add in the title, 
I might want to add in some text or information to the very first tile of our lesson. I can do this by clicking on the Add Text button. Here, I might want to add a question for the students to find out what they already know about fractured fairy tales. I can change the font, style, and size of the text. Then when students go to look at the text, they can respond to the question in the discussion section. Next, we can perform a web search on this topic to find some resources to add to our lesson. I will add in our topic into the search bar on the right hand side. Once I click the search button, many different resources will be generated. This first tool on the right hand side will give you different resources for paid and free teacher tools. You can click on the different resources to preview what it's offered. And if you like the resource, you can click, drag and drop it into a tile. I can do the same thing for YouTube videos. Simply click, drag and drop to add the resource to your lesson. It will also pull up different resources from Google, Google Images, Flickr, and if there's a website that I already know of that I want to add, I can click on the Add a Link button and enter in the website at the top and then click, drag, and drop it into my lesson. If I have content on my computer that I want to add, I can use the, these resources on the side to add um, any files from Google Drive, from Dropbox, or directly from my computer. Once I have added the resources to my lesson, I can also go in and add a quiz for, for further student assessment. I simply click on the Add Quiz button. At the top, you can type in a question. And then it will give me a section to enter in multiple choice answers to my question. Just be sure to click on the answer that is the correct answer. You can add more questions and when you are done with your quiz, click on the done button. Then when you are ready to see student results, you can come back and click on the view results button. Once you have completed your lesson or assignment, you can share it with others. To do this, simply click on the green share button at the top of the page. This will give you a link that you can share with other teachers or students, or it will also give you a shared or embedded link for these different web resources. Today we have learned how to create a test teach account, navigate the website, add resources to your lesson, utilize the student assessment tools, and share this resource or lesson with others. Thank you for taking the time out to watch this tutorial on Test Teach. I look forward to our professional development lesson together when we can jump right in and discuss how to use and implement this tool in the classroom setting. On the Test Teach lesson that I sent you are a few more examples for you to look through to start getting your own ideas. Please don't forget to take the end of tutorial quiz found on the last tile of the Test Teach lesson link that I sent you. I look forward to seeing you soon and hearing your thoughts and ideas.